Hi, this is Money Mike. The Christmas tree is actually gone. This video is going to cover my point of view on Hyleon. Now, let's just do a quick recap. Hyleon announced to go public. We bought it, we praised it, and then it actually crashed. Uh, the same way people jumped in, they jumped out like they are sailing the Titanic. There are so many EVs that uh, we cannot actually blame them. People using SPACs as their new casino and Hyleon? is that boring wending machine in the corner. It gives a snack that you can eat, but no chance to hit the jackpot, ending up being the most boring machine in the casino itself. So this video explains why this wending machine, Haleon, has so much of my attention and why during the time when I am selling over the next two months, uh, the majority of my portfolio, Haleon will remain among the five stocks that I keep. Yes, I'm reducing my portfolio from approximately 10 growth stocks to five. As an example, I sold Intel, took a 15% profit, and uh, this will continue with the selling Huya and others until I have around five stocks. On the other hand, my spec warrant portfolio is uh, going to remain the same. And if you wonder why I'm selling, it is because I am preparing for my next big move. When I have a strong conviction about my next trade, I'm okay to go 25% in. My last high conviction trade was Tesla, and since then I had 600% returns. My next big move is not a Hylion, if you have to ask, but I want to keep it for the whole separate video. Now, back to Hylion. So I'm not selling Hylion. Why do I keep it then in my portfolio? Next to Google, Facebook, Tesla? What makes it so special? Let's get into it. By the way, this video is not a financial advice. Those are my opinions. Keep that in mind, please. Here are few strong reasons why I keep Hyleon. First, if you look at the companies that I intend to keep in my high growth portfolio, they have one thing in common. All of these companies have, in my opinion, low risk and high upside potential. So what makes Hyleon to fit this portfolio? Okay, here's my thesis on the low downside of Hyleon as an investment. This is what I think I get if I own this company and I get the worst scenario. Let's say, okay guys, nothing worked, but we are going to stay in the business. I believe Hyleon has a unique position in the industry of natural gas. I've done a lot of research on RNG and despite the government prioritizing wind, solar and electricity in general, many companies are using natural gas for many, many years like Coca-Cola. So I personally believe that natural gas, especially renewable natural gas, is not going anywhere. We also have recent purchases from ABMBF. They are running 180 trucks on renewable gas. Those are not class eight trucks, but still in very similar industry. So if Hyleon will be the best choice to run natural gas trucks, this is enough for them to become a decent company. I am quite confident that uh, they can become uh, the best solution in their own category, meaning RNG long haul trucks, class eight trucks. There is not a company, in my opinion, that can match their technology now or even in a few years in long haul truck industry with the natural gas. And I'm not saying that their product is ready. We are all waiting for the main product ERX solution to enter the market, but the tech and the hybrid solution are already proof that they can make this work. It is not a photoshopped product. It was not designed first in a 3D printer. It was engineered and built to a working prototype. So the worst scenario I see by owning a Haleon as a company is having in my portfolio a leader of a long haul RNG trucking industry. And with that, I don't see myself as a loser. Now let's take a look at the second scenario, the bull case of Haleon. This is the potential upside. No one can today answer if RNG, electric or hydrogen is the future. We don't know. Each industry might have different answers. This is what makes Hyleon a bet as any other company. One energy source can eventually become superior to the others. And at some point, this is going to be clear. It could be five, 10 or 15 years, but I believe that there is going to be only one leader. 
I don't think anyone is in any position to make a call today what it's going to be because there is a lot of politics, there is a lot of science, there is a lot of investors who actually comes to place to decide that. But this type of a bet where you are not going all in, you cannot say that with Nikola as they could run out of the money and they would have nothing, nothing finished. By the way, I know Hylion is ready to make a switch to hydrogen. If there is a future where hydrogen is being used as a main source of fuel, then it is going to be Nikola in my opinion, dominating the industry. So let's be clear about that. But uh, given the recent progress, it is very unlikely. Some of the investors actually expect Nikola will have to raise much more money to fulfill their business plan. Thomas Healy from Hylion said that there is no more funding needed for the company. And uh, Tesla and Elon Musk have almost infinite resources. They don't have to worry about that at all. Let's say RNG will have the benefits hydrogen and batteries are not able to match in the short term, maybe even long term. At this point, Hylian has no competition. There is such a huge entry of barrier for any new player in RNG long haul trucks. First, there are the patents of Hylian. And second, there is so much vehicle testing involved that Hylian already went through. It's something like a LiDAR company would adjust to appear and try to be dominant in their market. It is, I think, impossible. They are so far ahead. It is not like we are going to see a brand new player in a trucking industry. And the main reason is technology. Even Tesla and Nikola are today struggling with this technology to make it efficient. They have a hard time to fulfill their promises that they made in their presentations. Tesla is delayed already a year or so with their new truck. Nikola is nowhere near finishing and there is really no one else than them, at least no one, no one who is worth mentioning. There is a problem with these batteries. They are just too heavy, period. This is the reason why we see so many companies entering the EV market, trying to compete, for example, Tesla. The quality of batteries for SUV are important, but they are not being such an issue anymore. But it is an issue for long haul trucks. So if you look at all those three companies, Tesla, Nikola and Hylion, you are really just trying to bet on who will invent the best solution. And this is where I think that Hylion is actually quite safe company to invest because I don't think that they will not be a leader in their RNG solution in the trucking industry. And you have also all the upside, right? What if they actually beat Tesla with their performance? What if they actually beat Nikola with their performance? It is very possible. The chances currently are 30%, right? It is a bet, but at the same time, as I earlier said, I don't mind to hold this company even if they do not dominate the whole market. And only time will tell that. So it is an early investment. That is definitely for sure. We might hold that for many, many years, but at the same time, you are getting it for the price when all the analysts basically predicted the price to be above this price. So I think it is a good price for this company and only time will show. There is also one more news that is actually worth mentioning. Hylion names electrification leader Bobby uh, Chiren, sorry if I don't pronounce it correctly, as a senior vice president of sales and supply chain. So actually, this is what something I was saying. I wasn't really a believer much in a sales team because it was the original old team of Halion. And suddenly, finally, they're bringing someone with a 30 year experience in a global sales. So I think that is a great positive news that someone actually with a 30 years of experience is coming to the team that will definitely boost the sales up. As currently, I believe that Hylion is focused on hiring and actually de developing their technology, which means the ERX solution. So I'm actually not worried about pre-orders because I believe that they're not yet in the stage. I actually think it is worth to spend more time on the ERX solution, just to make sure that they bring better solutions than Tesla and Nikola. Because at the end of the day, with a great product, you don't have to focus that much on the sales because the products speak for itself. Guys, let's give this video a thumbs up if you are invested in Hylion, so it would pop out to more Hylion investors. Many people stop covering Hylion since it is not a hot topic anymore. I don't care much about views, I care about investing performance. And since Hylion is one of the five stocks that I will actually continue to hold in my high growth portfolio, I will make a lot of content about Hylion and I will keep you updated. I have one more video lined up about Hylion that I am sure 
the information which is in that video you didn't heard about. With that, make sure that you subscribe to this channel, stay one step ahead and see you guys next time.